We got something new in the mail today, floppy catters. This comes from a organic pest control company that sells products for your garden. So we got this sprayer and because what's inside here needs to be sprayed on my lawn. All right, so inside this package is an, a melted ice pack at this point, and then this nematac, beneficial nematodes. Nematodes are little microscopic worms that eat fleas, cutworms, fly larvae, termites, and more. I got the 10 million pack. I ordered it through a local garden supply company here, but you can also just buy it online. And this is what they look like. Weird. I will add this to water, follow their instructions, and spray it using this chameleon sprayer. I actually just applied Wonderside, which has cedar oil in it. On Sunday, today is Wednesday, so they suggested that I wait until Monday to apply this. And so what you can do is it just says store in the refrigerator unopened until you're ready to use. I think they, it, like you wanna use it within two weeks, I think of receipt, but keep it in your refrigerator until then. And then you also, you'll see, you can always pause the video to read those instructions if you want to, but also I'll link to their site and then you can read on there what the instructions are, but I'll have to keep the soil moist for two weeks after applying it. We'll see how this goes. Today is the day we're gonna apply the beneficial nematodes to my yard. I'm gonna divide this packet in two. I'm gonna make a concentrate, one for my front yard, one for my backyard. I just watched a few videos on YouTube to make sure I did it right. But also I called Arbico Organics today. And the cool thing about that is that you can call them and I was able to like talk it through with a gal that works there. She's applied it on her yard several times. They're in uh, Arizona. There's their number if you wanna pause the video. And they'll walk it right through. So you don't have to have, you know, be questioned or anything. She knew from my order that I had a chameleon and it's, it's suggested on their website, but she also suggested to just run this first, see how it sprays so I can get an idea before I put the nematodes in this container. So here's the, it's just, you know, as you would assume, and then this little pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that out before I make the concentrate. And then a guy that I was watching on YouTube suggested, um, you know, as soon as you put these in a concentrate, then spray them on the ground because um, they're not really made to swim. <laughs> So that's what we're gonna do. Yesterday it rained, there were tons of leaves that were on the ground, so I went ahead and mulched those by mowing my lawn. It is dusk here. You can see what I was talking about with my leaves. And it's advised to apply nematodes when it's dusk or dawn because you don't want them drying out from the sun and you're supposed to keep your, wa your yard watered for two weeks afterwards and you're also supposed to put them down when the ground is wet, so it was really, helpful that it rained yesterday. And then what she told me too, was to water my yard again after I've sprayed the nematodes down. I have it attached without the container. And that gives me an idea of how much it sprays. She also suggested that I spray between two and three ounces per gallon. So that's, I set it on that. You can also see that it sprays per tablespoon or by ounce. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and make my concentrate inside. So I'm gonna fill up the chameleon and then I'm gonna dump, I think, half of the nematodes in there for my backyard. Boom. Nematodes are microscopic worms. And I was asking Becky today at Arbica I don't know if I'm saying that right, Arbico Organics, if, if diatomaceous earth was okay to have around the nematodes. And she was like, yeah, it's actually, there is diatomaceous earth in this. So I didn't have to worry about spraying that off my patio because I put some on my cats today. All right, there we have it, folks. Just gonna give it a little stir, give it a little love, tell them how grateful I am for them eating fleas because I hate fleas. All right, we're ready to rock. And you can see the concentration level there, about how much is left. I saw some guy on YouTube added a couple drops of food coloring so he could see that more accurately, which is maybe another idea. I just don't have any food coloring to try that on. The backyard went pretty quickly. Um, something else I learned 
from YouTube was these like bare spots might be signs of grubs. So not only am I gonna kill fleas, but I could also help control the grub population. See how much more grass is over there? So now I'm gonna do my front lawn. All right, time for second application, making our concentrate. I forgot to mention that these little microscopic worms not only kill fleas, but they are completely safe for us to be around, for kids to be around, for pets to be around. They actually naturally occur in nature. We're just making them occur a little bit more in my yard. And you saw there that I went ahead and rinsed out the container and poured it into the concentrate. That's something else I learned from YouTube. The guy said, like, get all of them that you can because they're all great. Once they're all down, then you can either water them in by manually watering them. Or if you're fortunate enough like me, just run the sprinkler system. It's not pretty dark, but I wanted to mention too that Becky with Arbicote said to water them in on my patio since obviously my sprinklers don't hit that part. And when I when you water them in, you just do a sweeping motion. I mean, when, when you spray them down, you do a sweeping motion too, just to get maximum uh, of coverage. That's pretty common sense though. But she said to water them down on my patio because obviously my sprinklers aren't gonna hit them. It's not supposed to rain tonight. And you wanna keep them wet and have them fall down into the cracks in between the bricks to help them do their thing. This chameleon sprayer it can be used for a number of things, um, including chemicals. So maybe that's why it suggests cleaning it out afterwards by you know running, I think, fresh water through it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but I really don't think it's necessary with the Neem Attack product just because they're just nematodes that it's not anything chemical that's gonna get stuck in the line. All right, guys, that does it for our video on how to apply nematodes to your yard. Tell me what natural flea tips and tricks that you have as we try to tackle fleas together. You guys know that my cat Charlie, my 13 year old ragdoll cat Charlie, was on a chemical flea prevention and ended up having a head trimmer. So the neurotoxins in that product caused him to have a head trimmer and then We've worked with Pam of Perfectly Holistic to detox his body and remove that so that it uh, doesn't do that anymore. So as a result, when we got fleas, I didn't have an option. I didn't have, I couldn't put on the chemical unless I wanted the head trimmer to come back and have to go through the detox process again. So I'm looking for alternative forms of flea control. My plan next year in the spring, because it's now late October and almost in, in my area of the city, or in of the country, too late to apply this. Not too late, but we're getting near the end of the season. Um, but as soon as, I was told by Arbico when I first called them that as soon as the temperature outside is 42 or above, you can apply nematodes in the spring. So that's my plan. I'm gonna order the nematodes, the nematac, they actually have three different kinds, but I'm gonna order the one for the fleas, like I did this last time. I'm gonna actually apply Wonderside, which is what I did this time. Then you have to wait seven to 10 days to apply the neem attack because the cedar oil in, in Wonderside will affect the nematodes. So you have to wait for that to die down. And then I'll do the nematodes. And then seven days later, I'm gonna do it again. So I'll order twice. And once it arrives, as long as you don't open it, you can wait, up, I think, to seven to 14 days. I'm just trying to get rid of the rest of that water to clean out the chameleon sprayer. Once you get the neem attack, you can put it in your fridge unopened for seven to 14 days. But they also offer free shipping, so you could order one, you know, wait for it to come, put it down, and then order the next one, and then put it down as soon as it arrives. It is shipped with an um, ice pack as you guys saw at the beginning of the video. Let me know what questions or comments that you have. I'll include a link to where to buy these products in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Forgot to add, I'm gonna let it air dry and then I'm gonna put it away and I'm only gonna use it for nematodes. So I'll probably write on here nematodes so that I don't use it for anything else.